So welcome back to Partick Hill Station and another little tip and trick. I'm Charlie. So I've been doing a little bit of painting uh, of these 3D printed uh, oil drums. They're quite small and some relay boxes which I also 3D printed. And just to give them some realism, I, I have a bottle of oily black and I'm just going to put a little drop of that on the top of the oil drums and maybe let it run down the side, uh, suggesting uh, that they had a little bit of a spill. A little dab will do you, as the commercial used to say. And uh, I'm just going to run it up the side there. I know that's difficult to see because it's so small. Let's see if I can. Yeah. And that's pretty real looking. Now I can also let's see if I can do this, add in a little bit of uh, brown or raw umber. Just to give it that uh, weathered look it's pretty difficult with it being so small but it doesn't really take much to get it to, to look quite realistic And then I'm going to take ever so little amount of yellow and just just touch it Because as you know, um, rust isn't always one colour. But it's up to you. You can uh, do whatever you want. It's your railway, you're the station master, as they say. Now, for the relay boxes, um, 
you know, they may suffer from rust also. And I'm just going to try and do a little bit of dry brushing. Just to give it that effect. And if you find you've just gotten a little bit too much, you can always smudge it because, you know, it, that won't look out of place. And the dry brush effect uh, really makes it pop. And you know, those handles and hinges really look good. And you can always rub it with your finger just to spread it around. Anyway, it doesn't take a lot to liven it up and make it look realistic once you set it on your railway and a bit of uh, grass around it it'll look just like the real thing and what you can also do is uh, once you've given your relay box um, base coat. You can take some black uh, water down and and just let it run through. And then you can just dab it off and uh, you'll get a nice weathered look there. Really simple. Just make sure you've got water mixed in with the paint. And it will get into all the little nooks and crannies. And as I said, you can Dab it off if you're not confident with it. And I think you would agree that brings uh, another level of realism to your relay box. So I hope you enjoyed that short little video on how to paint your 3D prints very easily with acrylic paints and uh, you can do them to your liking, set them in your railway and they will look fantastic. Anyway, please give me the big thumbs up, ring that bell and subscribe. Uh, that really helps and we'll look forward to seeing you again next time here at Partick Hill Station. Bye for now.